Let me start by saying the reason I'm making this video is to decrease officer suicide. Now, it's going to be a video that may be very controversial, but this is designed to help those who are suffering through the stress and pain of doing this job. And what's this video about? How to leave law enforcement. The reason I decided to make this video is because I heard from so many people about how stressed they are, how their department is treating them so poorly, and even to the point where they're having thoughts that they can't control. So to prevent the loss of human life, I'm going to help those out there who need it the most. This job is not meant for everyone everybody, and that's okay. Even sometimes when you thought it was meant for you, once you get into it, it's a very, very difficult job. It doesn't mean you didn't meet the challenge. It just means there might be something different for you to do out there. You have forces from the outside and forces from the inside just making it so difficult. And I understand. I've been there. I know what you're going through. So if this job is bringing you to a point where you want to take your own life, it's time to find another job. So first things first, number one is you got to realize something. Nobody's sending a rescue ship. I know that you're depressed and you're trying to find some strength and some energy, but you're going to have to grab yourself pick yourself up and start the process of figuring out what you're going to do with your life next. My suggestion is a simple one. Maybe try to figure out what you want to do, what you like to do, or even hopping on a website like Indeed or ZipRecruiter and seeing what else is available, what else is out there. A lot of police officers are hung up with this idea that they only have skills that are good for law enforcement. That's all they know. They don't have a college degree. Folks, it's 2023. That stuff is really not relevant anymore. And with a little motivation, you'd be surprised how much opportunity you can find in the real world. There are thousands of jobs you can do. Stop being your own worst enemy. Stop worrying about what other people think about you and how they're going to judge you on the decision you made in your life. Who cares? It doesn't matter what other people's opinions are when you're having thoughts and depression that are leading down a bad, dark road. When people start looking at other career paths, they always think, is this something I want to do for the rest of my life? Here's the good news. Just because it's something that you're going to do, it doesn't mean you have to do it for the rest of your life. It's just the next step forward in your life. You can have 25, 30 more steps in your life before you find yourself to a place of fulfillment and happiness. Just because you took a cop job, it doesn't mean you have to stay here. Nobody said that you had to stay for the 20, 25, or 30 years to collect your pension. We are able to, as human beings, create our own destinies and paths. So don't listen to what other people have to say about what you should be doing. Think about what you should be doing for yourself. If your passion is truly helping people, there are so many other paths and avenues that you can go down to help people. You got to start figuring out what you're going to do next. If you're really having deep and dark thoughts at this moment in your career, please, I also urge you that you're just a phone call away from a hotline. There are so many helplines for police officers and first responders. My suggestion is just make that first call and don't be embarrassed or ashamed to use those resources. That's what they're there for. We want to prevent the loss of life, especially yours, because your life does matter to us. Again, this video wasn't designed to dissuade anybody from entering to the profession. If you're in the profession, of course, you should, have, you should have such pride in what you do. It's such an amazing thing. But if you're in it and it's actually creating that much stress on you where you're considering hurting yourself, maybe it's time to make a move. There's no guilt in admitting that this isn't for you. That's okay. It's not for everybody. There are many police officers in the past who have left for mental health purposes. You come first and foremost, not everybody else before you. It's okay to put yourself first. That's how we develop the best versions of ourselves. Yeah, I get it's scary. I understand that. But what's scarier, living in this dark place, going down this road you keep going down, feeling depressed, ruining your life, or deciding at this point now it's time to do something else. It's okay. You're going to be fine, I promise.